Welcome to the prayer closet with Summer White and today I'm just going to be showing you a few different thrift hauls. So I have a thrift haul from the Big Goodwill, the Little Goodwill, a thrift haul from my sister's closet. Um, she's a Poshmark seller um, and so I'm, I've got some stuff from her and then I've also got a few things my daughter gave me. So I'm just going to cover them all and I'm just going to start real quickly so that hopefully I have enough minutes to get through everything. So um, the first thing I want to show you my, that I got in one of my thrift hauls I'm actually using today is this little bag. It says La Philippe or something like that on it. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last, the word there, but um, super cute little bag. I love the two-tone colors on it and the dark brown. And I just paired it with this top, which is almost kind of like a, a Western top, I guess, Western design. Um, so I kind of paired those two together today. And of course, my time and true earrings that I showed you the other day in there just got of a silver and gold mixed and they are super cute I love the time and true brand at Walmart it is it is really a good brand they have really cool things um, and it's really inexpensive so the first thing I have here is a coach bag now this came from my daughter and she has never used it it had a little bit of discoloration right here it had something sticky on it um, I tried to get the sticky off and it was left with this discoloration I'm gonna use it anyway because it is a brand new bag it's never been used, um, just brown, solid brown with gold buckles. And the inside of it, look at that, the leather on it. It is, I don't know if you can see the color, it's so beautiful. It's like this dark chocolate and it, it's just brand new, not, not been used. So it's so clean inside, came with the little book. So I am excited about that. I've never really, because I am a Goodwill shopper, a thrift shopper, I don't usually gravitate towards any specific brands. I don't pay a lot for certain brands. So when I do come across them, that's great. And it, you know, it's cool, but I don't purposely go out and just buy expensive brands and pay a lot of money for them because I know how, how inexpensive I can get things for at the Goodwill. So, um, but that was cool and I'm, I'm glad I have it. And then she also gave me this Sonoma robe and it's just the soft aqua color and it's got little hounds all over it. So I thought it was cute. Um, and it's a short robe and I kind of needed, I was kind of wanting one. I wouldn't say I needed it, but I was wanting one. I have a white um, long robe and it just gets dirty quicker because it's white and because I have the Great Dane. It's just a lot harder to wear white all the time and, and keep it clean. So I'm excited about this one. So the white one will probably go on eBay. I'm going to check it, make sure nothing's wrong with it. If nothing's wrong with it, then I'll stick it on there. Um, so the, the little Goodwill haul that I have, we're going to start with it. I got this Talbot shirt, size small, and it's got just the ruffle, and it's like black and red, little plaid pattern. Thought that was cute. So I'm, I've been in fall mold, I've been mentioning that, so um, a lot of the things I'm picking up kind of seems to be like for fall. <laughs> This little um, t-shirt, I think out of all of this, the only thing I really picked up for eBay was this t-shirt. And it was, and the reason why I picked it up is because it was American Eagle. And it's just a little floral um, flower t-shirt from American Eagle. And I will put that one on eBay. So, and then I have a Liz Claiborne. This is a size large, but it's a Liz Claiborne. And look how pretty it, look at the colors. Normally the pattern, I, I wasn't real crazy about the pattern, but I absolutely love this color. So I'm kind of excited about this blouse just because of that, that bright, kind of, I guess it's just a pink. It's a real bright pink color. And then this one is perfect for fall. It said, I don't think I, I didn't recognize this brand. Um, Lenny for Nina Leonard. And it's a skirt. And I thought it was just perfect for fall with maybe some, little boots it's got the little fringe on the bottom of it it's a good fall color and it's kind of thicker so maybe wear it with like a white um, collar top or something or just to have extra color with it i'm not sure but i really like that for the fall then i have a long sleeve blue jean plaid dress here it is from j jill the little sleeves roll up and you can see the bottom it just straight bottom there but it buttons all the way down just kind of a relaxed fit so that one's um, gonna be good for a little while. I think I could wear it right now even though it's still hot outside 
and I have a J Crew um, size large. So in my sizes, I just get whatever I like for the most part. Like it doesn't matter if it's a small, medium, or large, um, because you can make those work by either tying them or tucking in the fronts of them. So you can really, it doesn't really have to be an exact size to make it work. And I've, I've kind of figured that one out, which means I have more sections to shop in. So anyways, this one is a large. I normally, I think I'm a comfortable medium, depending on the way the top is made. But I do wear large and tie them or tuck them in, like I said. And I can wear smalls as well. It just depends on how snug I want something or if it's already made oversized. It just really depends on the brand. This um, is just a little kind of like Hawaiian print, but I like the colors in it just because it was so dark. It's like a dark blue, but it's got these little red umbrellas that just stand out on it. Just a, just a hint of red in different places. So I just kind of like the coloring on this one. And it is a long sleeve blouse, but it's more of a summertime print, so I'll probably go ahead and wear it. And then this one, I got is from Rue 21 and I picked it up. This this uh, little ribbed, the little ribbed short sleeve shirts are really in style right now. I've been seeing them everywhere. Um, this one came from the Goodwill, but I went ahead and picked it up because I thought, okay, I'll grab one of those since those are those are coming back out and in style right now. So only I didn't have to pay as much for mine because it came from the Goodwill. <laughs> so excited about that. This is a little fall shirt, and I know it kind of looks, you know, probably thinking, oh, that's an older style or something, but it has the perfect fall picture on it. It's got the little lab and the pumpkins, and I am simply just going to tuck the front of it in to my jeans, I might, and I'll probably roll up the sleeves just a little, and it changes the whole look of it. It definitely makes it look more modern and younger when you tuck them in and roll the sleeves, so... That's what I'm gonna do with that, and it's gonna be a perfect fall shirt. I'm gonna have one more bag here from the Little Goodwill. This blouse is called Marcia and Me, and I just liked, it's kind of a feminine look. I just liked this detail on the top, the little yellow and kind of gray flower, and it's got some cutouts, little, just beautiful detail on it, um, and on the, down the sleeve, and look at the end of the sleeve, the trim. So I just thought this blouse was just a real feminine, just a pretty um, look. And I will probably wear it tucked in as well and maybe with a leather belt or something. Um, but I really think that one is just a pretty blouse. Okay, I have this blazer and it looks almost like it's for summertime because of the colors, um, but it is pink and green striped, I'll show you the stripe there. And I've got the sleeves rolled up, so that's how I'm gonna wear it. And then it's long, but it has pockets. So I've been looking at blazers and sometimes they're hard to find actual pockets. They just look like they have pockets, but for some reason there's nothing there it's to look. Um, so I don't know why we need to look like we have pockets. We just need to actually have them. <laughs> so this blazer actually has pockets. I was really excited about it. And it's first issue a Liz Claiborne company. So. I think that's J.C. Penney's maybe, but it's an older style because I don't remember anything called First Issue. So um, I do know Liz Claiborne is J.C. Penney's though. So, but I thought that was cute. And we have this green. Now, normally, now this is one of the tops that I normally would never ever wear. Like I never ever pick up these type of tops. I do not like the way they're made in the front with like kind of that real low v-neck you always have to stick a tank top under them i'm not a fan of that and it's got the little string tie in the back but i absolutely love green green is my favorite color right now and then the white polka dots have been in style as well so for the color and the polka dots that's why i bought this top and i'm going to wear it and i'm just going to stick the tank top under it <laughs> it's going to be okay but it's normally not the style i would go for i just just happened to like the color and print so much that's why i wanted it it does have the lace at the bottom, which I do like that. It's just pretty much the way it's made up here with this, this band and the tie that I'm just not real fond of. But it's going to be really pretty. I'm going to style it up and make it pretty. And then I have the silk. This is a silk shirt. It's Spencer Jeremy. I love the colors in this. And since the 70 is going to be big, 
um, this year. I kind of thought this would fall into that category. It is a tie front blouse, so it actually, you know, it's gonna wrap and tie. But look at the beautiful colors. I just saw this and I absolutely loved the colors on it. So I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be really pretty. And it's machine washable even though it's silk. So that's a plus. Okay, this one still has tags on it. It's Sag Harbor is the brand. Um, yeah, size medium. And brand new with tags. Look at the beautiful colors in this one as well. Little short sleeve sweater. I'm also gonna tuck in and wear with the belt and maybe um, just a little ankle boot or something. I thought these, this one was just really beautiful too. So anyway, um, I love that one. I have this last one from the Little Goodwill and then we'll start a big Goodwill pile. And um, this is a set and it's kind of an older style. And I've really been into the vintage and the older styles here lately. And a lot of that is just coming back. And it also just gives me good memories of, you know, the past, <laughs> my shopping in the past. <laughs> Um, Light-hearted and no problems, you know, it was just a good time. So this is Worthington um, size medium. It's got the little turtleneck, little short sleeve turtleneck. It's ribbed, this little black and white. It's ribbed and then down here it's got the white trim on the bottom. And then it has the little sweater that goes over it with the trim on the sleeves and on the bottom. So I really thought that one was pretty and it just kind of reminded me of an older style that I liked. So that is that. And then we're gonna start on this big Goodwill pile. Look at this that I got today. This is awesome. And I'm gonna have to slow my, my thrift hauls down a little bit. Um, Cause Christmas, you know, Christmas is only like a couple of months away. I know you probably don't like hearing that, but it's only a couple of months. And um, so I'm thinking I need to slow down on my thrift hauls. Plus I have so much. I have literally so much for my closet clean out to list on eBay. I just need to concentrate on that for a little while. So this is probably the last one I'll have unless I just get into my closet and have like a specific item that needs something to go with it. I probably won't go for the next couple of months just to um, see if I can get a lot of stuff listed. But look at this vest. I just thought this was so cool looking, but it's not made from any real animals because I really, I don't like it when stuff's made from an animal. I'm okay with the fake stuff. So this one actually does say faux um, on it, faux fur, so I don't have to worry about it being from an animal. And it is Design History is the brand and it just looks like feathers, really pretty. And it is also machine washable, which was just awesome. It's a plus. And then when I went today, it was 99 cent sweater day. So I just racked up on some sweaters because why not? They're 99 cents. So this one is Expressions and it is just this, just this really pretty um, blue. I guess it's, it's not really a royal blue because that's more of a purple. So I'm not sure what color blue this is, but I love it. It's, I like it because it's chunky. So you can see it's, real chunky and it's got the chunky sleeves that are rolled up and just a really pretty blue color. I don't have a whole lot in this color. I might have like, I think I have one shirt in this color and that's it. So, um, so I thought that one was pretty and I didn't have a whole lot in the color. So I think that'll be good. This jacket right here, um, I haven't decided if I'm keeping it or selling it, but it is like a work, it's a work company or a work jacket. It's called Mac. Um, it says Mac licensed product and it's got the little dog on it and then it's got just one sleeve has gold trim on it so I look these up and um, some of them were selling for like $99 um, and that was new so um, but anyway so apparently it's a pretty good brand and it's like a work brand or something for men but I just like it I like it because the little dogs on and everything so I don't know we'll see I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it or keep it so we will see it will probably end up going in the cell pile, knowing myself. <laughs> um, this is Sack Harbor. It's another short sleeve sweater. And I just thought it was really pretty, just kind of delicate. It's got little flower details around the collar and neck there. And then just, just a basic little short sleeve sweater, but it'll kind of go under other blazers or you can just pair it with something um, because of the color of it. So I thought that was pretty. This one. Um, also gave it to me. They gave me all of these as sweaters. They're kind of 
in the sweater category. This is not sweater material, but it's, they still gave it to me for uh, the 99 cent sweater deal today. And it says Maxwell, Maxwell Jason, I think is the brand. I've never heard of that, but it's kind of got that animal print look to it. And that's kind of what, why I grabbed it. It's a fleece or a, I think it's a known, I think this material is called fleece, but it's that real soft or maybe velour. You know what? It's a velour um, material and I'm going to roll the sleeves up on it as well. And, um, I just liked it. It was warm and it's kind of got an animal, um, almost like a zebra pattern, but it's with browns. So that one will be nice and warm for the winter. This one I loved because of the different colors. So it has this embroidery on it, um, that just stood out on top of this color. And that's why I liked it. So if it would have been just this color by itself and plain, I would not have picked it up. But because of the bright red and just the embroidery that stood out on it, that's the reason why I bought it. I always like the things with details on them. So that always makes um, a difference in whether or not I buy something. If it has some good details or a lot of details or it's just different, that's what I'm going to pick up. Uh, this is... Or if, it, if it's a sweater and it's extremely chunky and soft, like this sweater, there's not a whole lot to it. It's black and white. It's from Forever 21, but it is just so soft. Like it feels wonderful. I almost can't wait to wear it. And like it's, I don't really want to wish winter time here because I do like the warm weather, but this just feels so good. So anyway, it's got the white trim on the sleeves and collar and the rest of it is black and it's just a Forever 21 chunky sweater. Love the way that one feels. Okay, and then I got this vest and I thought, thought about putting it back, but I just thought this vest was kind of fancy. So I'm gonna put a white collared shirt under it, I think. But look at it, it's got these jewel buttons all the way down it. It's also got some type of shiny, um, they're not really, sequins. I'm not sure what they are. It's almost like they're glued on or something, but they're in the material somehow, but it's just so pretty and fancy. And I thought, you know, for Christmas, around Christmas or in December, I can wear this with like a white collared shirt under it. Um, but it's just really pretty. I really liked it. They also gave it to me for the 99 cent sweater sale. So, which is great. So things did not cost too much today. Um, this sweater is the brand is Fever, a size small, and it's just a little crocheted sweater that you can throw on over something. It's got this little tie, um, and I just thought the crochet, look how beautiful the crochet is on it. It's just so pretty, a little white, look at the detail, um, the crochet going down right here. You can see there, and then the detail at the bottom, and then the detail at the sleeves. The whole thing is crochet, but it's just different patterns throughout it. So really pretty. Okay, this one is gonna be sold on eBay and it is like a, it didn't have the tag on it. It has a tag inside that says medium. So it's a women's medium, but it doesn't have the brand, but I just liked it. And it is like a little um, surfer, maybe a surfer um, suit. And it could be a bathing suit. It is lined, so it's got the padding in the front. It does have the sleeves, and it's a zip-up, but, you know, it's a bathing suit. So, just thought this was super cute, and look at the, it's almost like a 90s print on it with all the, the geometric patterns. Um, so, it is going on my eBay. Um, there will be somebody throughout the winter that needs a suit, a swimsuit of some sort, and they will be able to get one. Okay, and then... Oh, and I just threw some jewelry in here. Okay, two necklaces here. This is a just a yellow gold necklace. I don't think it's real or anything, but just a yellow gold little chain. So I picked that up. And then the pearl necklace. I do already have pearls, but this was a little bit like a creamy color. And so I thought, you know, the color was real pretty. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and grab that. Just a little gold clip, clip there. So my two pieces of jewelry. I got this scarf, um, which is Croft and Barrow, and it's just the little wintertime plaid, black and red with 
the fringe at the bottom. And I actually thought about wearing it with that red, if I can find it here, let's see if it's under here somewhere, on the very bottom. <laughs> I was actually thinking about wearing, I haven't looked at it together, but this red plaid shirt that I showed you, okay, I was thinking about wearing this scarf with that plaid shirt just because it stood out. It was something different, but they're both plaid. Um, so I'm thinking about putting those two together and I just like like bold colors put together in different prints. It makes them stand out more. Um, it's, it's more noticeable. So you just don't look plain when you walk in, people are like, oh, you know, and they notice all the different prints and patterns. So this is going on eBay. It is a vintage. I just sold the other one. Um, but I found this one today. I was really excited. It is Spree, which is vintage, and it is just a little tank top. It's got two tops. I don't know if you can see it, but two different colored green, almost like a little striped pattern. And yeah, there's how this little basic tank top, but the whole point is that is this brand Spree. It is vintage. Um, they don't make it anymore, and um, so I just sold one, and so I'm going to put this one on there as well, so y'all will be able to, to get that. And I had a this little purple blouse, and it says, I think it says Four Bentley, and I thought it was just really pretty. It is a large, but I'm hoping when I tuck this one in that it will be, um, it'll fit, you know, pretty well, but I liked the detail on it as well, so if you look at the buttons the way they're sewn, so it's got lace, got little purple buttons, it's sewn with these little lace tabs that go around the button, it's trimmed in lace, if you look at the collar, there's lace trim, then it's got lace up here, um, the whole shirt is just trimmed in lace detail, the little bubble sleeves or puff sleeves with the little lace detail on the bottom, so I just really liked the details on it, and that light purple color, so that one's really pretty. I also picked up this little, um, it, to me it's like a little, it's almost like a blazer kind of, but they counted it as a blouse. It is a dark green and it's got a little bit, um, it's not embroidery, it's almost like, well, it's, it's embroidered around it, but it's like material, it's like extra material sewn on. It's got that little detail and the pretty buttons that are the same material as the shirt and so it's almost made like a blazer top and blazers are real in style suits are real in style um, this year and then I'm of course going to roll up the sleeves um, to give it a little bit younger look so and then I had let's see three more and then we'll start on my sister's closet so this one is by the brand L Luna it's a size small, and I liked it. It's plain, it's black. Now remember I said I don't really do boutique tops, so I'm either going to tie this up in a knot or tuck it in, but I liked it for, look at the, the neckline and shoulders. Isn't that beautiful? Just that flyer print, and it's, it's got this little detail where it's just cut. It's almost like, it's a piece of elastic is what it is, but it's the top of the shirt. So I just really liked the print, and I thought it was really pretty, so. I'm going to figure out how to get the bottom of that tucked in or do something with it so it's not just hanging long. This one, because I said green is my favorite color right now, for my favorite color was yellow forever. Like years, as long as I can remember it's been yellow, but it has turned to green about a year ago. So um, I must have had a taste change or something. So, so green is my color right now. And this shirt was green and floral and silky and I just loved it. It says GW Division of Graph, and I'm pretty certain it is vintage. It doesn't, I've never heard of this brand. It seems, it just looks vintage to me, but it's just a green blouse. It's got shoulder pads, which I'm probably going to take out. And then, of course, I am going to tuck it in to take up some of that material so it's not so baggy. But I absolutely love the silk filling and the green floral print on it. So I was excited about that one. Those colors are so pretty. And actually, it I didn't realize this, but it's got fruit. So I'm seeing, oh my goodness, it's got grapes and watermelons and there's watermelon, grapes. I didn't even realize it had fruit. I thought it was just floral. So that makes it even better. Super excited now. 
awesome. Okay, and then this last one is Carol Little, and it is a green, and here it doesn't look very green, but there it was, maybe it does, olive, kind of an olive green, maybe even darker. It's just a solid green, and it's got this, like a little bit lighter green, just print in it. And I thought this would also be pretty um, with just a brown bell or with boots or tucked in. So just a little basic top there. And that is it for the Goodwill haul. And then my sister's, let me see, we're doing good on our time. So my sister's closet, she's been selling on Poshmark and she had quite a few things that um, I just had been wanting to look at. So I'm purchasing from her some of these things um, so that she can, you know, make a little extra money as well. But this one, and I'm so excited, All, a lot of this is suits, and suits are the big thing this year, and I have already gotten about four of them, so we're good. So, um, Anne Klein suit, and it's a size six, and it's just this beautiful neutral, it's like a cream color, just so pretty, just excellent condition. And she actually just gave me this one. So I was really excited about it. And it has, of course, it has the pants to go with it. They're really pretty. Um, so she had purchased them together. And so I now have my first suit, a cream colored suit. And this one's just beautiful for the fall. And it's just that color. It's just so pretty. Um, okay, let's see what else we have in here. This little. I think it was supposed to be a bathing suit top, and I might sell it. I'm not 100% fond of the detail on it, so I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided if I really like it or not. I just have so much stuff is what it is. But it, it is a little bathing suit top, and it's from, it says Raya Sun, size medium. And it's just like a blue, like a dark blue ombre color. It's got the little sundials on it with beads and then it's got that design at the bottom as well so and it also ties in the back so it's really cute i don't know i might try to wear it as a dress so i guess we'll just see um if it doesn't look right or something it will go on ebay as well but um but it is cute this okay let's see what is this one this one is a dress and it is from the loft and taylor loft medium and it's just a little it's been this one she i remember her wearing this one a lot so just a little i can't get a hold of the right sleeves a little sundress just brown and black so kind of long so just a little basic sundress and then i have oh here we go i was wanting to get to the suits so that's what i was excited about so this black one, and it's got a skirt with it, and it is casual corner, so we don't have a casual corner anymore, but um, my sister, when they did, she used to work in a bank, so she had bought a lot of these things um, for her career when she was in the bank, and um, she had still had them, so I'm purchasing them from her. I absolutely love them. They were a perfect fit, so there's the black suit jacket and then it's got this black skirt that goes with it so it's a little pleat and back black Ugh, i can't talk back <laughs> i can talk yes i can so um I'm, it's just that i'm in a hurry because i don't want my phone to shut off and so that you know i'm better when i'm not in a hurry i should just like chill out and take a little bit more time here this one is casual corner as well size six and it is beautiful when i first saw this one i thought eh, it's kind of plain it's not really the color i want but i tried it on and it looked so good it is it is just beautiful it is a dress and suit jacket this time so i rolled up the sleeves there i'm gonna wear it with the top button undone um, but button the second button there and so there's the jacket and then the little dress that goes with it, which is just a plain red. It's like a real dark red dress. Also got the split and back, like the little skirt. Um, just really pretty on though. It was, it was just the perfect dress, perfect fit on. So I'm excited about that. I've got this really cool belt. So 
It is actually made, it's almost like a 70s belt, and so you wear it like this, and it kind of hangs to the side, you can see. So really cool, gonna be really in style right now. And I got a pair of vintage jeans, some Gap low-rise boot cut, which we don't hear about very often right now because skinny jeans have been such a big thing, but I actually think skinny jeans may go away. Um, they're trying to bring back out the wider leg or the boot cut leg, which is what these are, you can see, and you can tell by the wash that they are a vintage wash, a vintage style. I love them for that reason because I miss when jeans just fit like normal. I kind of get, I mean, I do have some skinny jeans, but I kind of get tired of the spandex, like everything being stretchy and spandexy and it doesn't stay where you put it. So I really just miss having jeans that just fit right where you put them and they're not like sliding off all day and you don't have to fidget with them all day. So I really love these um, for that reason. <laughs> okay, and then I had this pair of Bermuda shorts, just plain khaki Bermuda shorts and they were gap as well they were a little big um i'll probably just put a belt with them um maybe we'll try them on again but just little plain basic bermuda shorts and i thought they would kind of match a whole lot of stuff so i might even wear them with that hawaiian blue button down top that i showed you all go with the little red umbrellas Okay, this dress, so pretty. It's Ann Taylor as well. So she's an Ann Taylor fan. So a lot of her stuff is from Ann Taylor. Um, and this one's a size eight. Um, and it's just this little black and white floral sundress. So you can see the top of it. It's just so pretty, so beautiful for the summertime. And it's still like really modest. like. It's not too low at the top. It's not got anything open at the bottom. So you can be, com you know, it's just comfortable. It's not, the wind's not gonna blow it up and it's already too short. It's gonna be good. So um, that one's just so pretty. This one, I loved this one. I have no idea where to wear it to. It may just end up going to church. I don't know. Um, I have no idea, but I like it. It is from the store B Moss, which we also don't have anymore. Um, it was a size eight. It is washable because it's polyester, but the whole dress is just black lace. It's just a beautiful black lace dress all the way to the bottom. There's the lace trim at the bottom. I absolutely love it. It fit perfect. Um, I just need to figure out where to wear it to. So, um, so pretty. And see what else we got. We only have a few more pieces here. So we've about got all of it done. So I'm excited because I still have three more, um, two to three more closet clean out videos to go on the stuff that I had cleaned out that I'm selling on eBay. And um, I think there's some more stuff my daughter gave me as well and some knickknack breakable stuff that I'm selling as well. So several more to go. I'm just, and it's laying all over the house. So I'm really gonna have to work hard to get it done. Um, this little Ann Taylor loft, little cami top. So beautiful with the lace trim and the peach floral color. And it looked really pretty under that first cream colored blazer. That's actually what I was thinking about wearing it under. Let's see if I can dig it back out here, the, the jacket. So this jacket right, right here, oh, I've got somebody trying to call. Let me get that off of there. Okay, so this cream colored jacket right here with this little lace top, which I just think those colors are really pretty together. So we'll see how that goes. Then I had a purple, the limited sweater. And it, it might be a vintage one. I know that it was, it's a good 10 years old for sure. I know that. So but just pretty purple in the back is cut low. So that's actually the back and this is the front, but really pretty purple. And then this jacket is the last piece, I think. And I love it and I know it just looks plain. It's just this, like the plain beige or khaki colored jacket, but it looks really good on and layered over stuff. So, and I'm gonna roll the sleeves on it as well. So just wanted to 
show you that. And I really hope that these calls that are coming across my phone are not going to be in the picture. I don't know. <laughs> my, like keep popping up and I'm having to swap them away. So, um, so anyway, yeah, that was the last piece. And that is it for my thrift haul and my sister's closet and then stuff my daughter gave me, which there may be more of that later. Um, but for now, um, I'm glad I got to show you all of this stuff. I've had stuff laying everywhere and I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to get on videos because I'm getting too big of a pile going and then I'm gonna forget what's what. And so anyway, so I've got these done. Um, there is gonna be two, at least two more closet clean out videos and that is gonna be strictly stuff to sell on eBay not keeping any of it definitely going on ebay so um i'm going to go ahead and get into the scripture and today i'm going to read psalms 91 and I, i'm sure you hopefully are familiar with psalms 91 but i feel like when i went to the goodwill today um and when i go anywhere the first thing that people talk about is the coronavirus the first thing that everybody talks about is the coronavirus no matter where you go no matter what you turn on, whether it's Facebook or TV, whatever, it's, it's just everywhere. And honestly, I just want it to go away. But um, Psalms 91 is our protection chapter. And I'm reading it today um, because, you know, it's easy to get afraid. And it's easy to get worried when you're constantly hearing something, when it's constantly being pumped in and constantly coming at you it's easy to, for those things to affect you. So you have to have more word to go against. You have, almost have to have more word than you have the other stuff. So to be built up in your faith, and for your faith to work, and for you to truly believe what God's word says, you have to have more of God's word than you do that negative outcome, or the coronavirus, or whatever else it is. So Psalm 91 is your protection chapter, and the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So to build your faith, you have to hear the Word of God, because that's how it comes. The more you hear the Word of God, the more you put in of the Word of God, the stronger you are in it, the more you can stand and say, no, I know what the Word says, and this is what I have, not that over there. So that's how faith works. So it really just depends on how much time you put into the Word. So um, but Psalms 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. So I want to touch on this. You take the word literally for what it says. It, you, don't, you don't have to come up with some other meaning or study over here and study over there to try and figure out what... I mean, it means what it says. So when it says a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, okay, that's what you're seeing. That's like a thousand people fell over here and 10,000 over here, but it will not come near you. So see, your faith has to be in the word. When you're seeing all these people sick or you're seeing things happen, you're seeing bad things happen, you do not have to, you do not have to accept you don't, it's not that you're not saying that those things aren't real. They are real and they are happening to people. But you don't have to accept it for yourself if you truly believe what God's Word says. So it's just a matter of your faith and how built up you are in your faith. So I just encourage you to really just read, read, read. Like read the Word, hear it constantly, put the scriptures on, particularly pertaining to fear and healing. Because those are the two things that I feel like we battle with every day. It's either something to be afraid of or something that's causing people to be sick. And, and before this, it was the flu. And before this, it was cancer. There's always things that you hear about that are making people sick. And it's real easy to just let that get into your mind. And, and it's, even, it's even proven just in the natural that if you keep a... Um, I have a really big groundhog right outside my window. <laughs> it's, it's distracting me. But it's even proven that if you keep positive thoughts in your mind, even if you weren't a Bible reader, a word reader, um, 
in the natural scientists have proven that the people who think positively, who think they're healed, who think they're well, who think good thoughts, who laugh a lot, those people stay well or they recover like a hundred times quicker than the people who always have the thought in their head that's, that's you know, they're going to get sick or something's going to happen or they're going to have what their parents have. And the people who dwell on those things usually end up with those things. Um, so that's been proven by science. So you don't even, even without God's word, that's already the way your mind thinks is a lot of your outcome. So how much better is it going to be if you have God's word to go with your positive thinking? So if you could just think positively in the natural and you get God's word in there as well, you have a double dose to help you out. So it's really important to think on good things. Think on healing. Think on the things that God promises. Think on what he has given us in his word. That's what he get. His word is our weapon. So this is what he's given us to protect us and to help us through each and every day. And you literally need it each and every day, especially now. It's... I mean, it's weird now. There are things going on now. Um, I believe we're in the last days, and that's why. But with that set aside, his word is your protection. And the more you're in that word, the more you will believe that it's your protection. And when you start to believe it, when you can truly believe it more than you believe any symptom, more than you believe anything you see, that's when it works. That's when you have your answer. That's when you have your healing. That's when sickness can't touch you so but it's just you really do have to build up to that um so anyways wanted to tell you that you know when you're seeing these things happen the word says um let me find my place again the word says but it shall not come near you only with your eyes will you look and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the lord who is your refuge even the most high your dwelling place no evil will befall you here and here we go again no plague, that's coronavirus, that's flu, that's anything. No plague will come near your dwelling. So your dwelling, where you live, nothing can come near your dwelling if you're truly in this word and you truly believe it. And, of course, you know, keep in mind that you're doing, you do have to follow God's word to the best of your knowledge. If you know God's word and you're not following it, then that does allow the devil in and he can attack you because that's what he was he's here to do he's here to still kill and destroy so jesus came so that you would have life and have it more abundantly that's what he wants you to have but the devil is bad and he's going to try and take your life if he can so this is how we counteract this is how we fight back is with the word and and putting the scriptures in because this is what god's given us to win with and jesus has already got victory so we just have to apply it um, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon you, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. This last scripture right here. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 91, and this is the whole chapter of Psalms 91, 1 through 16. The very last verse says, he will give you long life. So what do you believe? You know, what, what is it that you believe? Are you believing that you'll be sick? And that you'll get the coronavirus or any other virus and that it's going to kill you or that it's going to harm you or your family. It's in what you believe. Because this right here says, with long life, he didn't tell us that he would give us a long life if he didn't mean it. So this, the, his word is true. It doesn't change. So then we have to get our hearts and our faith built up to where it needs to be so that we can receive what the word is saying. So for me and my family, we have long life. The word says that he will give us long life and show us his salvation. So that's what we have. So we're not, you know, if I start to feel concerned with the coronavirus or with the things I'm hearing, and, and I'm not saying that doesn't work on me. It works on everybody because we hear it constantly. It's constantly being pumped in. 
Um, and that's the reason why I'm saying something again on this video. I know I said something about it on one of the past videos, but it's because we're having to see it and hear it everywhere we go. And the news is pumping it in faster than we get anything else. So for me, I do not watch news at all. I do see stuff on Facebook. I hear enough of it when I go to town that honestly I don't even need the news to know what's going on because it's everywhere. But I do try to stay away from watching the news and things like that because you can't, the more you put in of that, you would just, I mean, it makes you depressed. It makes you feel like, you know, it's doom and gloom and everything's going to come to an end. And um, so, you know, we still have to live. We have to live in this life, live in this world. We have to live until Jesus comes back. And we need to do that well and healed and whole and happy. And so I can't be happy if I'm putting all of that stuff in. I have to put the word in and, you know, occasionally something funny. Um, I've been on a Perfect Strangers kick. I don't know if y'all remember that show from, I think it's from the 90s, Perfect Strangers with the cousin that comes to live with the other cousin and they're total opposites. And one was like a sheep herder somewhere. And anyway, you'll have to look it up. But it's really funny, but it's lighthearted. It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. It's clean, way clean compared to what's on now. So... Um, but you know, that's funny. And then I do watch a lot of the message. I watch messages from Kenneth Hagen, um, from people who, Andrew Womack, people who are positive and who are going to help me throughout my day and not hurt me. Because if I'm pumping all that negative information in, and then that's what's going to come out. And then I'm going to start feeling it. And I, I mean, I've literally witnessed this myself. I've done this where I've just put so much negative in that that's how I feel, and I feel that way my whole day, and I feel like it's the end of the world, and, and I'm not going to survive, so, um, but God's given us his word so that we don't, you know, so we don't have to go through that. We have his word, we have his promises, and until he comes back, his word is, his word stays the same. It doesn't change. It's still the same, and he meant what he said when he said it, and so until he comes back, that's what we are to live by, and I think I have reached the end of my video, it's telling me, but anyway, just wanted to let you know, give you some word for the day. Read Psalms 91. Um, just really, really think about it and meditate on it. And let that be what you put in more than the rest of the world, the news and everything that's going on. Um, because it's that's what's going to help you get through your day. And you're going to be happy and you're going to be healed and whole and well. So until next time, I have that closet video I'm getting ready to do as well. And until next time, be blessed and I'm glad I got to show you everything and talk to you today, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, don't forget to visit summershop-2 on eBay. Um, you'll have to Google that to get to it, but it's real simple, and that's where you'll find my items I'm selling. Thanks. Bye.